can see in the title is gonna be me telling you guys my experience working for Chipotle. And it was a horrible experience. I would not want anybody who has a mind, like at all, to work for Chipotle. They suck. I started working at Chipotle late February of last year. It was my first job actually. I turned 16 in the July, the previous year. And I wanted a job. And my dad, he was kind of telling me, oh, you can't work. But I wanted things, he wasn't buying stuff, so I was gonna get a job. And at first, before I even like worked there, I was scared to apply to stuff because I never, you know, worked before, so I didn't know the job application process. But my friend told me, like, her process, she has the same situation with her family, basically. And she had told me how she got a job. And she did it without her parents. So I was like, okay, I'm 16 years old, I'm eligible. So I need to find a job now. I don't care what my dad says, like, I'm gonna work. So. I had all my information so I can apply to jobs just like that because I had all my information and I remember I applied to places around here five miles around me okay I applied because I don't drive and you know I apply without my dad so I wouldn't have a ride to work if I worked far so I just applied to places that was walking distance and Chipotle actually is like a 30 minute walk for me, a five, 10 minute bus ride for me. It's not that far to get there. So I applied and they reached out to me within like a day. Yeah, they reached out to me the next morning that I had applied. And I didn't originally wanna work there, but a job is a fucking job and I like Chipotle. And when I, when I went to the interview, the manager, he told me that, you know, we're not that busy, which is bullshit. Chipotle's always busy. But they said they're not that busy and, you know, they can book me for like the weekends. That's when people usually get the rushes because people have off from work sometimes and kids are out. So I worked, I worked there for about, Ooh, from February to June. I worked there for five months and it felt like a year. It felt like forever, but it was just a horrible experience. So first of all, let's talk about the hours. Their hours are some shit. So he did tell me the weekends and because like it was my first job, I didn't really understand how shifts work. I didn't understand how anything with working even worked, okay? So, the first time I was there, they gave me how many hours? They fucked up my hours. They gave me more hours than usual. Like they were giving me like about let's say three days. And they they have really short shifts. The job I work now, my shifts there are like nine, seven hours. Five is the least. Their hours the most is usually you can have seven hours some days like for Saturdays or something, but the most is four hours. They were giving me three hour shifts, two hour shifts, and they were sending me home. And the manager that hired me, he was a sweetheart. He was super nice to me. He never ever, you know, was shady to me. He was never, he was just never a bully or anything. Like I can ask him stuff if I need help. We weren't best friends or anything, but he was a cool manager. Like I could talk to him, but he was a ge the general manager. So since he was the general manager, he wasn't really there all the time. I was there. I closed more, and he was there in the morning. Even at my job now, the GM he's always there in the morning rather than closing. Don't know why, but he was barely there. And there was two other managers. One was a girl she actually went to my school the previous year she just graduated she was a teenager she was 18 years old i started working there when i was 16. she was youngin and she was very fucking petty i had another manager and he was a grown man he's been there for forever because even when i used to just go to chipotle to eat like as a customer i saw him 
So he was okay. He would be annoying sometimes, but not in a rude way. He just talks too much. You know those managers that always have something to say? Or you know when you're gonna do something and the manager or whoever says, can you do this? Like, you can clearly see I'm gonna do it. That was with him, but my problem was with the teenager one. I did not know her at all, never seen her. She said she had a brother and I did not know her. She was a complete bitch and I'm not the only person who felt this way, so it's not just, you know, me being biased. She was a bitch. She used to send me on break as soon as I came in, which is illegal. You cannot send people on break when there's nothing to break from. Like, I clock in at four, she would send me on break at 4.08. And I didn't understand what that meant because um, at Chipotle, the only good thing, you get free food. And I would come in early and eat my food. And she'd be like, well, I'm gonna send you on break when you clock in, so, I mean. And I didn't know what that meant, but she's basically saying like, eat when I'm on break. You get a 30 minute break, a paid break. But as soon as I fucking clock in, if I'm, my shift is from four to 11. You know, she sent me on break at 4.08. And I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, I just got here. I just prepped, put on my apron, all that shit. But okay, cool. And I was talking to one of my coworkers one day, and he was like, that's illegal. You can't send people on break when there's nothing to break from. Like, what am I having a break from? I just came in. And... I don't know. I quit before I could even say anything like, oh, you can't send me on break. But she wouldn't even ask me, oh, do you want to go on break? And because that's my first job, I didn't know I could stick up for myself. Okay. I was not trying to get fired or even be unemployed. Okay. So the shift sucked. And they would send me on break just like that. So that means like when it got really busy and a bitch was tired, I could not go on break. Also with the free food, so you can get food for yourself, employees get free food, and then you can get discounts, you get 50% off. And they try to have some shit where if you take it home and you're an employee, you have to pay 50% off. So my ass will sneak that shit because, like, I'm not gonna finish a bowl of Chipotle one day. I never finish Chipotle. Unless I don't eat anything, I never finish it in one day. I always eat my Chipotle in a two day period. So that was dumb. And they would go bring it home, they didn't give a fuck, okay? Cause they're managers. She would get people free food. And one time this guy, he was my friend and he came in, he wanted food and I didn't like use my thing. And I was like, okay, you know, he's my friend or whatever. And I tried to use it, she's like, you can't use it for him. First of all, bitch, it's my thing, okay? So I can use it for him because it's mine. It's not like I already got my free food and then I'm like, okay, here you go. But anytime somebody would come in, it's her friend, she would give them free food. She didn't care. And managers at Chipotle, you're not allowed to do that, okay? You have managers comp, but you're not supposed to just be giving free food out like that. Chipotle's stingy as fuck. The job I work now, we get free food out like that. But Chipotle, they're stingy as fuck. And anytime my friends would come in, you guys, even when I gave regular like amounts of food, because sometimes they'd be really shady and be like, oh, they're gonna charge you more because you put too much meat. And I'm like, bitch, what the fuck you want me to do? Put like four pieces of chicken? No. She was just really shady towards me. And I think she was mostly shady because there's another girl who was a coworker. She'd been there for a lot longer. She was a teenager, same age as me. Went to a different high school near mine. Didn't know her from nowhere. She was ratchet as fuck, okay? And when I say ratchet, she would be talking about her sex life at work. She'd just be doing too fucking much. She would be, she had a boyfriend and she would be flirting with this guy. And he was really nice to me. He never was fucked up to me. We were never anything because I have, I had a boyfriend and I still have my same boyfriend at that time. But he and her were friends because obviously they were there before me. But he was nice to me and she got really jealous. Customers used to come in and compliment me and she just got really fucking jealous. And 
I am the type, like, I'm a really quiet person when I pee people doing shit to me, like shady, rude shit, and I'll just go do my job. But because I wasn't open like her, like, I would talk to them about shit, even her, like, and she's just too open. Like, I'm not going to be talking about fucking all the nasty ass shit she was doing. She would just tell it out at work, like, ratchet as hell. I can't. And it's not being judgmental. Like, she was fucking ratchet. Talking about fighting bitches. Talking about doing this. Talking... And I was just like, girl, anytime I'm, I'm telling anybody anything, she acts so surprised. Like, she called me bougie. And I was like, I'm not bougie, baby girl. You don't even know me like that. And she asked for some of my lip gloss. And I didn't want to give her that shit. But then she dropped it. And I threw it away because the wand fell on the floor. Like... I'm not gonna go wash it off because I already got a new one. So who the fuck cares? And she called me bougie. She used to just be really shady towards me. And especially because of the guy um, that she was friends with. That so-called her best friend. She was really shady as fuck. And I don't know, the more like he would talk to me just as a friend, she would be so jealous. She would be in the back. And she'd be telling the teenager manager, she'd be telling her all types of shit about me. Like, she don't know nothing about me, but she'd just be like, oh, so he talking to her and they friends and everything. I don't like her. And the guy, he basically, he was telling me how, because I was saying she's really like rude to me. And he was telling me she, she like, to be honest, she does not like you because... She doesn't like me talking to anyone. She's jealous. And I was like, mm, of what, bitch? Like, I'm not taking your nigga. And you got a whole dude, too. Like, she had a whole boyfriend. But the thing is, I never did nothing to this girl. I was quiet. I'm not going to be doing the most. This one girl was her friend. And the bitch would be talking about how her, her boyfriend in jail, she paid for him with her Chipotle money. And he got a girl pregnant. Like... It was too fucking ratchet. Y'all tell too much shit. And I'm just not that person. Like, I don't got nothing to fucking tell. And I don't know y'all like that. You guys are not my friends. You're my co-workers. Okay? I was never rude to them or anything. But from then, like, she just started being so shady to me. Anytime I needed help online, she would just stand there. The manager would pick on me. And I'm a hard worker. Even at my job now, everybody knows I'm a hard working ass bitch. If I do a job... I'm gonna try and do the best I can fucking do. They were just so mean to me. And my manager, she was a manager and she was always picking on me. Oh, you're being slow. Oh, you're doing this, you're not doing that. And I'm like, one day I was just like, well, I really don't know what I'm doing. You're saying this, but you're not saying what I'm doing. I don't understand. She's like, come in as a new Kelsey. I'm like, girl, I really don't understand. And, like, that's why I don't say shit to you guys. Because you guys are here mad at me. Like, one day I was doing dishes and I came in the back to put my apron on. Her and the co-worker, the teenager manager and the co-worker were in the back talking about me because he had said something to me. Nothing flirtatious. He had just talked to me. And she was talking shit about me to, to the co-worker. And I was just like, I just looked and walked away, but I can hear you guys. I don't know why you guys are talking about me and I'm right here, but the whole thing, it was just petty. And the thing is, she was the manager. And it wasn't me doing nothing because all the other managers, the general manager and the other guy, they thought I was doing perfect. Like they were like, oh, you do good and whatever. And then all of a sudden, like I already didn't have fucking days. And I want to work four days. And this is the scheduling problem, too. You remember how I said they said Fridays and Saturdays? They were giving everybody a bunch of days. They gave this one guy a little bit of days, but he sucked. But I was good. And I know it was because of that drama. Because every fucking time they would schedule me barely anything, they would call me in every fucking day. Like, why are you calling me, asking me to come in? Every day, I literally had everybody from Chipotle's fucking number because they call me in all the time. Why are you calling me, asking me to come in 
but you don't want to schedule me. You know you need people. And my shifts started getting shorter and shorter. No seven hour shifts, okay? They were scheduling me for one day, four hours. One day, three hours. A fucking week. I was like, wow, you guys are really fucking childish. And I talked to the managers about it, but they want me to snitch and do all that. And I'm not trying to get in no type of troubles with nobody, okay? So I didn't say nothing, but I was just like, wow. Like, that's real childish because you want to schedule me for one day and give me barely any hours, but you call me in every other day. Like, I was still making the amount of money I would make with the three days because they were calling me in for more. So I would still work four days a week but be scheduled for one. It was just horrible. I did not like it at all. Anytime like a customer had a question, like they had, sometimes you have those customers that come in, they have questions about nutrition and allergies. And I don't know because I'm just a fucking, like I'm a newbie, I'm a newbie. Okay, so I asked the manager and Oh, I don't know. She gets an attitude with me. Like, bitch, you're the fucking manager. What am I supposed to say? And she could have, like, if you're a manager and you're professional, you come up there. She's just in the back. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, girl, what the fuck am I supposed to say to the customer? Like, you're being so rude to me. For what? That's what I was saying. Like, I was just so mad. She used to have an attitude. I, I came in one day, I had shorts, because at Chipotle, you see, this is my outfit that, this is actually my uniform, I still have it, this is my hat, this is my shirt, you have to wear your hat, you have to wear your shirt, you can wear any type of pants, I think, can you wear pants with holes, yes you can, you can wear any pants, and you have to wear um, non-slip shoes, and I wore shorts one time, because you could wear shorts, and they're, it was too short. I was like, okay. So I went and I bought some capris from Kohl's. And then I tried to clock in and my shift was for 5.45. 5.40. You can't clock in. Like, what are you talking about? Like, and I like waited, okay, 5.42. It's not 5.45. Does it matter? She was so mean to me, you guys. I swear on everything. She, and then sometimes... She would just try talking to me, but she'd be so shady. And the whole thing felt like high school drama. I just could not deal with this shit no more. And one day, I just went to the job I work now. I walked around, actually, the whole plaza the Chipotle was in. And I applied, and I asked if everyone was hiring. I got calls from other places, but... I took the place that paid the best, and that was the perfect fit. There's drama at my job too, but it's completely tolerable compared to working at Chipotle. I will never work there because Chipotle, they hired too many teenagers. The manager was fucking 18. And honestly, I think everybody deserves opportunities, but no manager who just turned 18. Like, she started working there before me. So she was fucking 17 probably. She was there working there for a minute. And she was not like 19, nothing. She was 18 years old. And I just felt like, you know, it's too petty and catty. You have your manager that's like that. And you guys don't want to check the bitch. And you have a bunch of teenagers and it's too much gossip. It's not professional workplace at all. I just couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal with the cattiness. There were some people there that was so cool. And a lot of people that were there and that was cool with me, they quit. Because they were like, she is such a bitch and she's doing this. And a lot of people be like, you gotta go find a new job because she's playing you. I don't know why she's bullying you. And there's people that would stick up. And it was just a lot of catty ass shit there that I just was like bounce like you aren't giving me any hours and you guys are making it really uncomfortable for me to work and i went to my job that i work now in my chipotle uniform i was like are you guys hiring <laughs> because a bitch was not trying to work at chipotle no more and my manager she was like yeah um you work at chipotle i was like yep but i don't want to work there anymore she was like how come i was like they give no hours at all 
Like, and their hours are horrible. Like, I don't even believe that shifts that are three hours long should be fucking legal. Like, what the fuck is a bitch gonna do with three hour shift? Like, if I'm gonna come to work, make it worth it. Even sometimes I would come there. I remember I went there and I was scheduled from 5.45 to 9 or 10. They sent me home at 7. Like, why are you guys making me come in for a two hour and a 15 minute shift? Because, oh, it's so called slow. And I walk past them. I went to Starbucks and it's right next to them. I walk past them to walk home. And that shit was packed. If you have a fucking problem, say it. But they were so mean and they could never tell me, like, if they had a problem, you know how managers can give constructive criticism? They would never ever fucking tell me, oh, you're doing this or that. They were just, oh, I don't like this and come in a new you. Like, bitch, I'm not doing nothing but my job. And Chipotle was packed. It was too fucking hot, it was too busy. And I didn't mind the rushes and everything, but when you're working with people who don't know how to do shit, it kind of sucks. And I just walked up to my job and I was like, y'all hiring? And they were like, apply online. I applied online and I called them. I kept calling them because that's what you got to do. It wasn't like Chipotle where as soon as I applied to Chipotle, they emailed me like that. It took me like two, three days, I think, because when I called, somebody answered and told me to call back. Then somebody did that again. Then they finally were like coming for an interview. When I came in for the interview, the manager, she was not there. The one who told me to come in so she could interview me, she wasn't there. They gave me free food just like that. They offered me something. Chipotle ain't offered me shit. They were like, come in tomorrow. I came in, I did an interview. And when I did my interview, I was with two managers. Not how Chipotle had one manager. It was with two managers. She was like, okay, well, we're gonna give you a call. Let me ask the general manager, same one that I have now. And the manager, one of them is still there, but one of them moved, and she was a sweetheart. And she was so nice to me. The other manager I have now, she's cool. She was really serious. She was kind of like straight facing, and I was smiling. She was like, I went home, and they called me, and they're like, okay, so we're gonna hire you, we're gonna email you, all this stuff. And a bitch was so happy. After that shit happened, you guys, I, did not show up to Chipotle. I told you guys, they were scheduling me for like one day. So I did not show up to that bitch. They were calling me in. People wanted me to take their fucking shift. No. that's I put my foot down because at first I was because I needed money. Like they're not giving me any days. So I got to take it. But when you have off and people are calling you fucking in on your days off, even if you're chilling at home, like your plan is to chill at home. And they will call me in all the time to close. And I'll always say, okay. And Chipotle closes at 10, a, 10 p.m. I'm sorry, Chipotle closes at 10 p.m. So that shit, like, I would walk home too because the bus doesn't run after certain times. And I would get home at, like, 11 something. They did not give no fucks. And Chipotle is a busy place. So I would come home 12 sometimes. They had scheduled me for like one day. That's the day that I actually didn't have anything to do. But since I had already got the job, I did not show up. I gave my two weeks notice to them. But, and I gave my two weeks notice to them. What was it? I think it was after I had got the job. Like after they hired me. But I didn't get training and stuff till another week. And I gave them my two weeks notice, like as soon as I got that shit. And I didn't give it to the mean manager, I gave it to the guy. He was like, it was nice having you, he was nice. Nobody really. And like, they thought that, I, like some of my coworker friends, they thought that I was gonna work both jobs. I said, fuck no, baby. It's nothing to do with the hours and money. Like if people are making you feel shitty at work, don't work for them. Do not work for their asses. So I went to the job I have right now and they gave me five five days for training on the spot, paid training. They give me seven hour shifts. They give me long shifts. They respect me. 
I'm a hard worker and they say it all the time because I know that. Like, I know a lazy bitch when I see one, but I'm not a lazy ass bitch. Okay, and if I'm going to go to work and I'm going to get to the monies, I'm not going to just sit there so I can get sent home early. <sighs> they just played my ass and they texted me. They're like, so you're just not going to show up for your shift? I am responsible to their asses. Never went there again. I went there, like, to get food with my boyfriend. I didn't get nothing because... After eating Chipotle five months straight, when you get free Chipotle, you eat that shit like every day and that shit turned nasty. Now, I don't even like Chipotle like that. I used to love it. I don't even fuck with it like that. But when I went there, the mean co-worker and my manager were there and my manager, she was like, oh my gosh, come look. And I heard her and they were laughing at me and they were like, oh hell nah. I was just like, bitch, really? And I... And, I wait till my boyfriend got the food and we left. Like, don't give a fuck about y'all because now I'm making more money than all of you because everybody shifts up. But do not work at Chipotle. I don't, I can't speak for all Chipotles, but working at Chipotle itself, the labor is too much. When you're doing dishwashing, you have to go from dishwashing to the line to this. You do everything. It's not like one person at my job now one person is at this station like you have a dishwasher he's the dishwasher for the whole time they will call me from doing the line giving food to go and do dishwasher to go do salsa to go do the lobby like clean up out there do the dining make me clean the bathroom all the time it's just too much they work you like slaves they don't give you no type of hours to do it and you will not like chipotle after that I tried everything from Chipotle, okay? I tried the tacos, the quesaritos, the burritos, the bowls. I've tried everything. You won't like it no more. So do not work there. If Even if you are youngin', and I mean, if that's your first job, it's your first job, but don't work there. Okay, so I hope you guys learned some things. And yeah, just don't work at Chipotle. <laughs>